Here we go, everyone. Good morning. Mr. Suitcase back in action uh, in the next 57 days until, here we go, until Houston, 57 days. Today is day one, back to running. You're probably going to get a little tired of seeing that suitcase and all the recovery gear, but what I have found, and maybe you can uh, relate to this, if I don't set up good habits at the beginning of a training block, and this is a miniature training block, only 57 days, but it's a key one, uh, getting ready for Houston and really honing in on marathon training, uh, but I need to set up good habits now to carry them through the rest of the next 57 days. Um, in the past, I have never had great success with saying, okay, I'm a month in, the body's starting to hurt a little bit, I better start you know, going to the pool more for some cross training, or I better start you know, stretching better, whatever the case may be for your recovery. So this is a critical day, day one of the training block and rebuilding the running form uh, from the ground up, from my little pinky toe all the way up to my arms swinging through the gait cycle. Uh, it's time to start honing in on some more efficient running form, um, cleaner, just crisper, light on my feet running form for another road marathon in Houston. So that's what we're up to. Hope you guys are having a solid weekend. How you doing, Michael? How you doing? Papa's just about to do some foam rolling. What do you think of that? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Dun, 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 dun. You wanna look in there? What's in there? What's in there? You can get it. You can get it. Neat, huh? Oh. You want to feel him? Papa's stretching his quads right now, Michael. Stretching his quads. Okay, I think we're going Skechers, Max Road 4, uh, a little softer midsole, although big, uh, not a big mistake, but I left them out here last night. It's getting too cold, so keep your shoes inside. What I will do now is go put them on the heater inside my house for maybe 15 minutes and let the heat warm up that midsole just a little bit. So anyway, here we go. Skechers, Max Road 4. It's like Christmas Day, man. Coming back from a break from running, I, I just am, I'm giddy. I'm giddy. I don't even know what to do. It was a good break. Don't get me wrong, but it's like, it's like running downstairs to see the Christmas tree. My, my, fearlessly independent. All right, I hear screaming in the backyard. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, thumbs up. I'm gonna keep pushing. Okay, everyone, finally laying it out for Houston, all of the training that I'm gonna be doing day by day, hour by hour, block by block, meaning week by week. And in addition, i uh, got a Google Doc here that I'm gonna share with you in a little bit. That outline, it's, gonna, it's just my daily reminder of what I need to do in order to stay healthy through these next 57 days and beyond. The rebuilding, the retooling of the feet, of the lower leg strength, and um, I'm, I'm, it's all up here. It's been up here, right? We have a lot of uh, thoughts for our training up here in our brain, but I need a little more accountability and reminder for 
um, for you know the little things, stretching, foam rolling, et cetera, et cetera, and detailing it bullet point by bullet point. Right, boys? Right. Right, here we go. Okay, so. Here we go, everyone. All right, we got, we got the box from New Balance. There it is, fearlessly independent since 1906. What's it gonna be in here? One, two, three. Oh my, my. The New Balance 1080 V10s. Oh, with that fresh foam throughout, trail shoes are not quite as high on my priority list right now, whereas road shoes are. So we'll put these there and come back to them. Okay, today's run, uh, eight miles, 13 kilometers in the Skechers Max Road 4s, 715 a mile or 430 per kilometer. Feeling good, I, as I should after a week off of no running. And here we go, 57 days to Houston, okay? So that's that, the run just, you know, not bopping along. I felt good and just was just going by feel, going by feel. That's, that's how I like to roll. Okay, let me just pull up real quick. And by the way, here in about five minutes, I'm uh, hopping on a Skype call with my brother, and we're going to talk about the 2020 racing season, okay? The racing schedule, and we like to race together as much as possible. Real quick, before we hop back inside and before I talk to Joseph, is question of the day. I was going to save it for later, but let's do it now. Do you have a training sheet, like a physical piece of paper or a poster board or something that you look at on a regular basis, maybe every single day, to help remind you about the tasks that you would like to accomplish in your training for that week, for that day, whatever the case may be. I do not. And I'm realize I've been thinking about it a long time and it's like, wow. I love I don't mind looking at the computer. I don't mind looking at the phone. But I, you know, I get distracted pretty easily sometimes. So I want a physical piece of paper that I frankly, once it is finalized, I'm probably gonna laminate it. Not, yeah, I'm gonna laminate it and put it, put it pr probably right in my recovery gear bag. I'll slide it in there because then every day I open it up, it'll be there and I can just remind myself, okay, don't forget to do this particular foam rolling technique or don't forget to do this particular uh, dynamic stretch because my calf is extra tight or whatever or don't forget to take my vitamins and minerals. Oh my goodness, you know? Um, so that's the question of the day. Maybe you're on the ball more so than I am and I just am ready to take the next logical step and I think this will help me do that. So, all right, gonna call Joseph. Let's do this. Probably in France, maybe okay. Spain. So if that happens, which would be early summer, then I think I would look for, you know, a race over there while, while we were there. Nice. Um, but yeah, but other than that, I don't know if I would be able to just think going over Yeah. for, for just, a, for just a race. But, um, yeah, if it was, you know, kind of alongside that trip, I would maybe do it. Um, well, Zagama in Spain is late May. It's it probably be it probably wouldn't align perfectly, but anyway, just keep that in mind. Which is also that kicks off the uh, Golden Trail series. So yeah, yeah. Um, and it looks no, it, I think you know it looks like a pretty. It's the classic pictures of the runners going through the crowds up the mountain. Yeah, I've watched some the videos and it looks pretty it looks pretty cool hi everyone i just got off the phone with uncle joseph oh, yeah, how are you doing? we were talking about the 2020 racing season oh. would you guys joseph and seth would you want to go back to Vale? remember that pool oh, yeah. watch papa and uncle joseph race oh my gosh in Vale? yeah remember that Vale mountain, mountain games hello oh. And the sea, the pirate, the pirate ship. ship, exactly. Oh, yeah. So, and I got these new shoes. Time to try them on. 1080 V10s. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, we better move this. Okay.
Okay, everyone, here we go. Okay, whoop, there we go. Um, uh, let's see, dinner's done, and I just got done doing some mobility exercises, all right? And yes, the document is coming together nicely, but what I'm trying to do is consolidate all of the different YouTube videos out there. And this is probably the beginning of my um, very early, like, like someday I could use I can use this document to share with others who are interested in what I do for staying healthy and recovering. Okay, so this is the beginning, but I need to consolidate my thoughts from all over Google Drive. Uh, I have a bunch of def different Google documents out there, and yes, a bunch of different YouTube videos out there. So it's time to consolidate into one document, starting with the warm up, so foam rolling, stretching, uh, feet strengthening. Uh, mobility, which is what I was just doing here in the kitchen uh, with the the, be, the back leg kick. Uh, form drills, plyometrics, recovery. So that's point number seven. And this is, as you can see on your screen, this is not uh, filled in completely yet. I will continue to work on this in the next two to three days. And then again, I'm going to go to Office Depot because I don't think our printer is working. Maybe it is. Go to Office Depot, print it off, and, um, and laminate it. Okay, and I'll probably have to update it every now and then, which is good, but just I need something physical to remind me because there's a lot, there's so much we can do to make our bodies feel better as runners. Um, even like right now, like my right hip has just been a little tight. Um, I think all, honestly, I think all the airplane rides made it a little tight and just those, I, it feels a little bit better right now after doing just those movements um, here in the kitchen. So, and of course the foam rolling, bottom line. You guys rock. I'll keep you posted on the document as it develops. And um, yeah, I'll share it with all of you if you're, if you're interested. Once it's done, it's not quite done yet. So, all right, everyone. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. We're rebuilding the body for this marathon training block and um, onward and upward. So cheers. <laughs> cheers to Todd on Demore Global Running on Facebook for posting his uh, beer stein with tea in it. Oh, it tastes so good. All right, there we go, everyone. All right. Tossing it back to, yes, plyometrics on the right and on the left. We're going to throw it back to, um, we're going to throw it back to the foam rolling vlog where I talk about the different foam rolling that I do. So there you go, everyone. You are the best. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.